Hello everyone, welcome to this new talk upon a video. So today we will talk about Kaido. We did a previous video about Kaido and I will recommend you to have a look because in this video we will go deeper. So in the previous video we had a look to the main features and the core function of Kaido. And in this one we're gonna go deeper by talking about advanced features and customization. So welcome back in Kaido. Just to remind you, the last time we talked about um, the main things about Kaido, so we had a look to the intercept section in which you are able to intercept requests to replay them. So here's an example of an interception and I can directly put it into the replay section. And as we saw the last time, in the replay section, we're basically able to modify the request and to do whatever it wants. So yeah, just as a remember again, into the HTTP history, we can see everything that have been uh, into the proxy. You can see that there is some colors into my history and that's because I'm using the plugin Pondfox. You can use Pondfox on Firefox. Yep. <laughs> And you have the possibility to open some containers in which everything will be separate from the other tabs. For example, if I have a blue tabs and a yellow tabs and I'm connected to the two different accounts, cookies and everything about the session will not be shared um, to the different tabs. So it's a poco cool to test either uh, to be connected to different accounts at the same time or just if you don't want to proxify everything in your browser. So I can have my tab in which I'm doing my research uh, or badminton tea and I can have at the same time another tab in which I can and in the same time if I'm not into a tab I can do everything I want and it's not gonna be uh, intercept into uh, Kaido. So the plugin Pondfox in Kaido create a workflow based on the editor because when you use Pondfox you can add the possibility to have the editor uh, with the color name. For example as you can see here um, I enable the add container editor and the Kaido workflows for uh, Pondfox is directly matching uh, this editor to add the color. So yeah, it's super useful to directly recognize where you are or in which context you are. With the workflows of Kaido, you have the possibility to use the community one or directly do your own uh, workflows by using HTTPQL, JavaScript and more. So here is the community workflows as a store one. If you want to add your feel free, you can directly make a pull request into the workflows um, repository uh, of Kaido in GitHub. So you can see that there is a lot of different workflows. I'm gonna present you a one that I particularly appreciate. So this workflow is called Secret Sniffer and it's super cool. It contains some JavaScript that match with some Redux. Um, a lot of portents for a different kind of keys that can be directly stored into JavaScript or directly in the DOM of some page, etc. Okay, so for an example, uh, if I'm going to my webhook, um, I did it for the example, I put as a response uh, some secret keys. You can see that we have some new findings uh, called secret cipher with as a title the name of uh, the, the keys that have been found into the page. So yeah, it's super useful to discover easily uh, art coded secrets. And yeah, as I told you, you're free to create your own workflows. For an example, um, I made a draft uh, with one that detects if um, I have some reflected value into the body of the response. So the workflows we saw previously uh, was some passive workflows. But you have, for example, some covert one that will directly convert value. For an example, this one is super useful. This one will directly convert uh, JSON to XML and it could be super fun uh, to discover, for example, XXA. For an example, you can try to change the content type of your request by an application XML one. And if the server is answering with an XML error, you can directly try to convert the JSON as an XML value. So it's a nice tip because sometimes API can handle uh, JSON and XML and many content types. So yeah, it's well nice to test. And as we can use, for example, JavaScript, it will let you uh, be creative and do whatever you want. So it's a really nice feature. And yeah, using JavaScript is super easy. So it's quick and really useful. I use the workflow store 
the directory I download some uh, work community workflows etc and to get this workflow star you will have to go into the plugin section of the workspace and download it so there is a lot of plugin in Kaido and they are all super cool and super great and as I said previously Kaido is really open so if you want to do a pull request with your own plugin feel free i present you quick ssrf which is super cool to typically generate some webhook links to for example try ssrf or yeah basically a lot of things so if i to make a new url so for an example i generated a link and as you can see i have the request and the response so yeah it's really useful to test ssrf and yes, you can use uh, your own webhook, but it's pretty cool to have to click into the quick accessory of um, everything you're looking for because you will directly have the notification and you can directly reach it super easy. So that's a cool one. Here is the 403 bypasser. I really, really appreciate this one. With this plugin, you have the possibility to run uh, a lot of templates. Obviously, you can add yours as always with Kaido. So yeah, as you can guess with the name, um, it will run a lot of templates to try to bypass some restriction. For an example, the first one will send a post, a big post, with a lot of A to bypass, for example, WAF with eight uh, kill bit uh, body inside. Or for the second one, as you can see, it will add a semicolon and a dot uh, into the path to try to bypass again. Uh, some restriction and here you have a lot of different templates for example some unicode bypass um and jinx flux bypasses etc honestly it's a game changer because usually we are doing it um, by ourselves by testing it manually and we lose a lot of time so with this kind of plugins you can directly uh, run it as a scan and yeah it, it's a real game changer welcome to our plugin which is called yes kaido so this one is new and is super cool and it's super beautiful honestly <laughs> and as you can see here you can retrieve our public programs uh directly into this plugin you can add your chill by t um to typically access to private programs too so for an example if i have a look to the top the public program I can have any uh, information about this program and a cool feature is that I can directly interact with it. For example, as you can see, there is the still.com uh, word card uh, scope. So I can decide to add it into the scope or I can just remove it basically. At the same time, I can add the user engines um, required by the program. So it's super useful and if you're lazy like me, <laughs> it's super nice because you don't have to specify it um, by yourself. You can directly do it like that. To do the report, you will obviously need to go uh, on yaskohack.com but it's really nice to directly have everything into Kaido and yeah, to have directly everything into this cup and into uh, the user engine. So as you can see, it will create a new preset with the name of the program and that's cup directly into. With PointFinder, you can automatically discover parameters in URL, for example, or typically into Chromix. With PointFinder, you can automatically discover parameters in URL uh, query string. You can find parameters into uh, the body. You can find parameters into the request body. Or you can directly search for either parameters. For example, I'm directly gonna try on my up website to discover some uh, either parameters. Uh, you can directly see into the section um, everything running. So you have the possibility to directly keep your own uh, wall list or use the one uh, directly provided by Kaido. So, as you can see, with the either parameters upgrade and host, I have a different plan, which means that the response of the query is different. It could be super cool to, for example, discover cache issues or just discover uh, item parameters that will let you, for example, about to find XSS or, for example, mass assignments. So yeah, you can typically copy um, all the parameters that have been discovered or you can export them to use them in the future. Something cool about PointFinder is that you can stop when you want a uh, PointFinder. You don't have to wait uh, until the end or just, yeah, add to uh, 
then let the plugins to stop it, if you see what I mean. As you can see, each test are made with different parameters will let you able easily to discover if, for example, you have some cache poisoning or not. Admetrix is another useful plugin on Kaido that gives you the possibility to test different kind of authorization at the same time. For example, in the user annual section, I can define um, some stuff for any kind of user. For an example, I'm gonna create a new role um, which will be related to the customer one and I'm gonna create uh, one user which is related to the customer. And for each user, I can define the cookie and the editor with basically everything I want. So I did the same with another kind of icon which is related to an administrator one. So in my example, I intercept everything, but you can directly decide to intercept everything into this cup. And it will automatically add the editor or the cookie uh, you specified for each kind of user. For example, for the customer one, it added the cookie, the cookie test one. And for the admin one, uh, the one one with the admin value. For an example, in DabBNT, if you have an account with some privilege and another one without, what you can do is like typically add the cookie of the non-privileged user into uh, the user uh, section and access to all the website with the privileged one. It will try to reach all the pages with the non-privileged user and it will let you detect super easily um, in Proprexis Control. So in this video, we talk about uh, free plugins uh, on Kaido, but as you can see into the community store, there is a lot of other plugins to discover, to open source and coming to stuff. So that's a very nice point. My opinion about Kaido is that it's a real game changer um, because as I told you in the previous video, for example, you can directly run Kaido on a VPS, which is so cool. You can directly use um, the IP of your VPS as a proxy and by this way, you can use Kaido everywhere, even if it don't have um, the possibility to download Kaido. So for example, here is the web interface of Kaido. As you can see, it's literally uh, like the client, uh, like the desktop version of Kaido. So it runs very fast and honestly, it's super powerful. A cool thing about Kaido is that you can directly uh, save your project uh, with your icon, so it will directly relate it to the icon with, with, with which you logged uh, to Kaido. So you don't need to copy everything on a backup or on another place to access to your data. You can directly access it with Kaido. I hope that now you want to discover more of Kaido. Uh, and honestly, Kaido is growing super fast. So there is a lot of new plugins every time and as Kaido is at the same time really focused on community you are able to directly create your own stuff and publish them to make them public and directly contribute to I hope you enjoy the second presentation of Kaido and really if you want to try Kaido feel free you can pay monthly if you want to discover every features and don't pay uh, a year uh, directly or you can directly use uh, the free version, which is super cool too, and which is super useful. If you have any kind of recommendation as usual, feel free to comment. I hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah, as usual too, press the button like, and see ya!